So a lot of times we use terrain modifications in order to add a structure to a terrain. But today I'm going to show you how to use terrain modifications to remove a structure from a terrain. What we're looking at here is a river bend that has four structures that were put in relatively recently. And when these four structures went in, this bend went from being highly depositional to essentially pass through. Um, sediment doesn't deposit in this bend anymore. And so we're going to do a kind of quasi calibration, a hind casting. And what we're going to do is we're going to run this model with and without the structures to try to parameterize the model and look at the sediment boundary condition. But we only have the structures in the contemporary terrain. So the question is, well, how do we get rid of the structures? And what I want to show you is how to use terrain modifications in order to kind of back a structure out of a modern terrain. And so I'm just going to go in here and we're just going to kind of take this structure out. To do that, what we're going to do first is we're going to clone the train. You always want to clone a train if you're going to add modifications to it to keep the old one. And I'll just call this demo. And so you see, now we've got this demo train. We want to make sure we turn this train off and turn the new train on so that we actually see what the modifications that are happening. And then you can start editing or you can just say add new modification. And the modification that we're going to add is a polygon. And we're going to go for multipoint. And I'm just going to call this remove structures. And so now we've got a drawing tool. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw around this structure in the terrain that I essentially want to replace it. What RAS will do is it'll interpolate the elevation in the regions around the polygon and really just kind of wipe out everything in between. And so we'll just you know, draw in these regions around it to try to get it. And then I'll call this um, structure three because I've got four of these that I want to do. And then everything else we're just going to leave the same because we want to replace the terrain value and we want to use the terrain elevations in the surrounding polygon and so i'm just going to say okay it's going to churn for a little while and then there you go there's uh, no structure there anymore what we can do is we can actually turn both of these on and i'll go and i'll draw a line through them and then plot the train profiles and you can see that you know we have the original one that has this pretty substantial structure in it five or six feet um, and then we have the new profile that just wipes that out and essentially interpolates linearly through our new polygon and so that is how you remove a structure using the train mods in HC RAS. My name is Stanford Gibson. I'm the sediment transport specialist on the HC RAS team and this video is funded by the HHNC SET program.